everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Anna Piffney and I have been self converting a 32 foot GMC bluebird named Astral into a mobile tattoo and art studio in the front and a tiny home in the rear and we're just gonna do a small project today because the weather is not fully cooperating for the bigger project that I've got going on which is the plumbing and having to uh, do mortar in the shower and all of that fun stuff so let's get going <laughs> I just choked on my own spit. Um, yeah, the battery died on my drill. So uh, I gotta try to be a little patient and just wait for that to charge. And then I can get back to it. Because I did not get all the way through the roof yet. Yeah, I'm going all the way through the roof. It's the next day, so the JB Weld is nice and dry and everything. I just wanted to give you, show you and explain a little bit what I did. So these are ribs. They're covered in spray foam right now, but they're steel ribs that uh, you can sort of see a little bit of it up here. But those go through like every two feet all the way down. I'm calling my cords. All the way down the bus, like every two feet. And what I did is you want to make sure if you do this to drill through the rib, so I drilled through the rib and then through the roof of the bus. And then I took some butyl tape, put that, and that's the gray stuff you saw me put around the bolt. Then I added a washer. You wanna make sure you get a good diameter washer. Uh, I added a washer, some JB Weld, another washer, some JB Weld, and then another washer. So three washers total on top of that, each sealed with JB Weld. Then I put a little bit of JB Weld around the bolt again, and then I put down a lock washer and then a nut. And then you see me just tighten it as much as humanly possible while holding the, making sure that you, you hold this uh, eye hook still. Uh, it's better if you have two people, but I didn't. But luckily, I was still able to hold that bolt still on top while I screwed it in. I got it in super tight, so there's no issue. Super, super secure, and I'm about to get on it now and test it out. So, if I mean, if, if it collapses, then I'm shite, and you can tell me so in the comments. But if not, hey, success, and uh, maybe you hang a hammock or something. And if you do, uh, tag me in it. Let me know how it goes. But yeah, let's get in the hammock. <laughs> oh shit. Uh swings pretty easily Ugh. I've also got a yoga trapeze that I'm gonna put in here so that I can uh, hang that up and like stretch my back and stuff after I do a tattoo so um, I'm not gonna break it out now but maybe I'll break it out now so you can see it too transparency I've never gotten on a yoga trapeze before so we're just gonna see how this goes <clears throat> 
Oh, I'm not supposed to have hiking boots on. Let me take my shoes off. Let's see if I can get in here. Right. I might need to add more. Um, because you're supposed to be able to. Oh, I'm not as that flexible. So I'm gonna have to uh, definitely add more chains <laughs> on there. Just so I can wrap it a little bit more, but it, it, I mean, look, it works and I'll be able to, uh, I'm, I'm nervous about putting my hands on the floor. I'm going to be honest, unless I could wrap my feet completely around there. So, uh, oh, that's a good stretch. Okay. Whew. It works. Well, that's going to be it for this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to all my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, yeah, like a bird this is nice. I'm going to just relax here and I'm going to see you guys next week with another small I'm project until we get a couple of 50 degree nights to do more plumbing. I got time. Catch you later. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful